Hey guys, today I'm gonna bring you guys finally on one of my workouts. I'm super excited. We're gonna do some upper body and let's get this video started and just go straight to the gym. During every workout, I make sure to hydrate and I drink some BCAAs. What I do is I just fill up my water bottle and I'll get one scoop of BCAAs, mix it in. It's super refreshing. I have the peach tea flavor and it's a nice little pick-me-up during your workout. Warming up is super important and it's the first thing I do before every single workout no matter what muscle group I'm focusing on. I like to use stretch bands just because they allow me to push myself and kind of get my heart rate pumping before a workout. You really want to try and focus on activating the muscle groups that you're going to be working out and for me it really helps when I have a stretch band and a mirror in front of me. I like to actually see my muscles moving because that gives me a good idea that I am activating them and obviously of course feeling your muscles moving is super important. You want to make sure that your body is warmed up and you're ready to get into the workouts and into the weights. Warming up is the best way to avoid injury and it's the best way to make sure you have the absolute and most muscle growth and recovery. Right before I hit the weights, I like to stretch a bit after my warm up to make sure again that I'm avoiding injury and my muscles are 100% ready to get into the workout. So we're going to start our workout with some tricep extensions. I like to do these laying down on the bench. It's really important while you're doing this workout that you keep your upper arms at an angle. You bend your elbows and lower the weight to your head. Extend your elbows and keep the same angle with your upper arms. You don't want to hyper extend or use your wrists. It's really important that you really focus and concentrate on your triceps. My rule of thumb is to do three sets of 10 to 12 depending on how heavy I'm going. Now we're going to do some bar curls. I like to use these a lot for activating my biceps and it's really important that when you're doing this workout you want to keep a slight bend at the elbows and keep your upper arms at your sides and slowly curl the bar up. If you want a little bit of a challenge, take about three to four seconds when you're lowering the bar down to really feel the burn on those biceps. This has to be one of my favorite tricep workouts. I believe they're called kickbacks. Now with this workout, it's really important. The slower you go, the more you'll feel it. Um, if you have a hard time activating your triceps, I do recommend doing this workout in front of a mirror where you can actually see your tricep move, um, that's a really good indication that you're using your triceps. This workout I did three sets of 12 and you do them on each arm and make sure you take a rest in between sets. These are also fun. These are called overhead bicep curls using the cable. I typically do this workout when the gym is pretty packed and I can't use any more free weights or the regular cables are being used. Now with these, you can do them two separate ways. If you're trying to bulk your arms, the form is going to be a little bit different than what I am doing right now. However, I am only trying to tone my biceps so you really want to concentrate on bringing in your arm and <laughs> activating your bicep so um, I'm not going too heavy here I'm just going to where I have some resistance and some pull here I did do three sets of 15 I love this workout too then again I really enjoy working out upper body so I'm not sure what this workout is called. 
um, but it definitely works out your triceps and a little bit of your back. So you do want to go a little bit heavier here because you are using more muscle groups and you may surprise yourself. You are stronger than you think. Now we're going to go into one of our last tricep burners. I like to do about three sets of 15 in these and it's super important here that you want to keep your elbows as close to your body as possible and you don't want to focus on bringing your arms too up. You want to keep constant resistance during this workout. Also you really want to try and not use your wrists. It's going to burn and you're really going to want to but avoid. Last but not least, some shoulder touches. You just want to get in plank pose here. And these, I typically like to, to do them till I collapse. This is a great burnout for when you're done lifting weights and right before you hit cardio. Or if you did your cardio before you work out, that works out also. I typically like to do my cardio at the end because I like to use all my energy towards lifting weights. And as you can tell, I'm exhausted. All right guys, that was my workout. I am so dead. Like, I don't even know how I'm going to drive this steering wheel right now. So I just wanted to thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know any suggestions, anything else you want to see. So don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Remember, I post videos every week, sometimes twice a week, and sometimes more. So see you in the next one. Bye.